Då har vi alltid gjort så det är bullfett, All right, guys, I'm heading into the cave now. I'm doing the natural walk all the way down, and I'm gonna take the long way in. I'm not gonna do the shortcut with the elevator. I'm actually gonna walk all the way through, just like everyone else. Why not? Uh, cool fact, I didn't realize this, but they use uh, guano, the bat poop, for gunpowder. Learned that in the little nature center. There's your little FYI if you didn't know that or you're probably cool and already did know that so Anyways, we'll see you in the cave literally goes on and on and on still going down there I've already been way up there
Good morning. I believe I left you guys off in the uh, bottom of the caverns. Lots happened since then. I, uh, excuse me, I went down my supper from last night and six eggs. Uh, what happened was, after I mailed that off, I decided to go watch the little visitor center video and it made me sleepy. So I went to the truck and I took a nap. It was great. There was a nice cool breeze blowing through. I slept like a baby for at least an hour. And I didn't realize after being an adult, I had to go find a camping spot. My worry was Labor Day weekend, people camping, people doing whatever. So, I found a site, super excited about it, mapped it on my GPS, went back to Carlsbad Caverns because I wanted to partake in the 7 o'clock bat flight that they do every night, which is really cool if you ever get a chance to do that, definitely go do that. With that being said, electronic devices had to be shut off, it interferes with their flying or something like that or it spooks them. Um, so my phone was shut off until 8.15 I went on a starry night hike uh, it was ranger led it was, it was really cool learned a lot about stars and constellations and all that fun stuff but the bummer is when we got done at 10.30 I didn't get to what I thought was my campsite until about 11 I realized it wasn't even a camping area. So I said to move a mile up the road, and I thought that place was going to be packed because it was an actually established camping area, free camping area. Oh, huh, I was the only one there. It was nice. Um, super quiet, but the only draw was when I woke up this morning, and there were fences around everything. And, uh, when kind of peeked around at it, well, there's caves around there. So, as much fun as it would have been to, to do that, it's too dark when I left my rope camp and uh, came out here to some actual lighting so I can cook my food. But today's plan, stick around. I'm going to go to the Guadalupe Mountains and Go hike around. Go to Smith Springs. It's my last name. Got to do it. And just enjoy the day. We'll see you out there, guys. I promise. We'll see you out there. I won't leave you hanging for more than 12 hours again. Well, since I didn't get this sign on my way in, I had to turn around on my way out so I can prove that I was in New Mexico. Here we are. Behind me is Guadalupe Mountains. We're going to hike that today. Oh my he doesn't goodness. want to move. 
You yeah. didn't see that either, did uh, you? Uh. And really, the best way to do this is to get him to move on their own. You need to stay right here because yeah. that's a place to sleep. Venomous. It's a ra venomous. It's a rattlesnake. Alright guys, I'm at the Guadalupe Mountain National Park and it's too late in the day to do the Guadalupe Peak. So, I'm going to go to the uh, Foothills Trail and go out to Smith Springs and come back and that should be about a four and a half, four and a half hour hike. Behind me is Hunter Peak. There's the Tejas Trail back there. And there's Guadalupe Peak, I'm pretty sure. As you can see behind me, there's the uh, Frijole Ranch Museum, and it's closed. Hence, that's why there's the orange fencing around it. Not entirely sure what the Frijole Ranch is, its significance, but it's old, and it's a bean ranch. So how cool is that? Right now, I just did the Foothill Trail, and apparently, I'm hiking up to the Smith Springs and the Manzanita Spring. And it's a nice concrete paved path. This place is now closed because of hazardous trees, pesky trees. That was, I'm gonna butcher the name, Ma Mazeltino. It was the other springs, it's not Smith Springs. Anyways, that, they apparently dammed that up um, in the early 1900s and it's completely covered and surrounded by reeds. So, can't really get up to it. It was a little smelly, but hey, you know what? If you need a place to cool off in a pinch, I'm sure that wouldn't feel too bad. In the distance, I do hear Smith Springs. There's a nice little bench made out of rocks. I had to sit. I mean, look at that view. You gotta stop and soak it up. Plus, there's some pine trees around here. Now they smell fantastic. But that water sounds really good too, so I'm gonna head over there and make this trip well worth it.
finally made it. This place is spectacular. It is like an oasis in a desert that I never dreamed could be possible. There's a nice little pool where the water comes out of. It drains off two streams and the temperature is fantastic. The sun doesn't beat down on you. There's a nice breeze through here. And some people gave me some oranges. Much needed. Anyways, this was a perfect ending to this trail. I'm going to make my way back to the, to the camp um, and go from there. Uh, I have no idea what I'm going to do for the rest of the day. I, I'm not sure. Um, I know I'm not going to do any more hiking after this because I'm pretty well beat. I'll probably take a nap. Yeah, I'll probably take a nap. Well guys, I've been out here for about four and a half hours. I just got done hiking back on the Foothills Trail. That's the uh, main trail that I took out here to get to the uh, Smith Spring uh, Loop. Uh, I thought I'd be cool and hike up the um, Bear Canyon Trail and I decided, no thank you, not today. But, I'm almost done. I'm so excited. I see vehicles, which means my truck is close, which means I can sit down and take these boots off. And I'm super pumped. So, we'll see you at the truck. I've never been so excited to see my red truck. It's time for me to go sit in you now, buddy. I missed you. Hey guys, you know what? I'm heading back to San Angelo. I had a really good weekend. I got to do a lot of stuff, see a lot of things. But, you know, I was going to stay one more night and do some more hiking, but I really don't think my legs can take another day of hiking. So, I'm heading back. I had fun. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I should be home about 10, 30, 11. But you know what? I can't I can't complain. Met some new people, saw new things, revisited some old places. It was awesome. It was fantastic. Alright, thanks for watching. Oh and by the way, it's funny, I have 56 subscribers and only 16 views. Which one of you guys all of you guys aren't watching. Come on, help me out. Thanks. Just remember, see you outside.